So my name is Mark Tyler, and I'm playing Biff Lohman. So I am his oldest son, um, and I have been away from home for uh, periods of time off and on, trying to seek out uh, a life for myself out in the West. I've been in uh, Nebraska herding cattle, I've been in the Dakotas, Arizona, and now I've been living in Texas. My, character, my character's relationship with his father is very conflicted. Um, it, it evolves over time, so the audience will have a chance to see the relationship that Biff had with his father when he was a younger man, um, late in adolescence. And it was a very close relationship, very loving relationship. I think Biff adored his father uh, exceedingly. And now, um, uh, as a consequence of events that have happened in life, uh, Biff uh, is very uh, disappointed with his father, very angry with his father. Um, there's a lack of trust between Biff and his father, um, lots of resentment, and uh, Biff is in many ways trying to rebel against what his father uh, is, what he's known him to be, uh, and is trying to find a new life for himself, chart his own course. Yeah, I've, uh, I've been doing theater since I was in third grade um, and uh, took a bit of a break in college uh, and graduate school, but um, I've been doing lots of different shows uh, throughout my life, musicals, non-musicals, uh, comedies, uh, mostly um, dramas. Uh, and I would have to say that one of my favorite roles that I had the chance to do was to play Captain Von Trapp in The Sound of Music. Um, that just happens to be a personal favorite of mine, uh, The Sound of Music, and that character, also in many ways very conflicted, uh, that character evolves over the course of that show, and so it's fun to be able to portray a character that has such depth and uh, such a change um, over the course of the play. And what's particularly fun about playing this character is just that, that you see this character uh, have lots of different um, perceptions about his own life, where he's been, the person he's been, uh, and the person he is now. So when I'm not doing theater, I am an attorney. Um, and I practice um, a couple of different areas of law, uh, family law. I'm heavily involved in uh, setting up uh, paternity and child support orders uh, and enforcing those. I've also handled some child welfare case work. Um, and uh, I practice a little bit uh, of criminal prosecution as well. So the best thing about community theater is that it connects the art uh, of theater with um, people in the, the community on both sides of the stage. Um, so it's really surprising. I've always been very, very pleased to see the amount of talent that we have uh, in our community. Um, I used to live in Baltimore for a number of years, and um, I would say that the talent that we have just here, um, you know, in our area, um, in many ways uh, competes with and exceeds some of the talent that I've seen in a, in a larger, you know, more populated area like that. So I, I love the fact that community theater uh, and community arts organizations provide um, members of our community who have a talent for this art to have that performance opportunity. And I also like on the flip side of that, that it also provides local audiences a chance to connect um, with the performers and with the stories that are best told in live theater. And I think that what we have in this show 
is a play uh, and a story that is really best told in a live performance. Uh, it's, certainly you could go watch a movie of this story, but to connect with these characters and the drama that unfolds with these characters is really best done in a live performance. Um, and to keep that art going for people in the community on both sides of the stage, uh, for me, is a real pleasure to see.